Okay. Hey guys, it's Amy with Lily B Designs. Um, I am doing a totally like impromptu live for y'all this evening. Um, I'm trying to make sure I've got everything together. I'm sorry if the lighting is a little bit weird in here. So I didn't want to turn on my um, ring light because it was basically like making my forehead shine <laughs> even worse than it is right now with my chandelier on. So I turned the chandelier on and I turned the ring light off. So I don't know if, um, yeah, I don't know if the lighting is going to be like totally funky or whatever. Um, okay. So I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to pin a comment. So hang with me for just a second. If you guys are coming in, just say hi and tell me what you're doing tonight. Tell me what's going on. Um, sorry. It never lets me pin a comment from my laptop. So I'm going to see maybe. Okay, so now I can hear myself. That's not going to work. Sorry. All right, let me turn that all the way down. Hold on. All right, let me see. Let me see if I can see your comments. Da, 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 da. All right, let me get rid of the banner. Text me if you want notifications on the screen, you guys. Um, da, da, da. Let me take that away and comments. Okay. Hey, Becky. Good evening. How are you doing? Okay. Um, I'm going to pin a comment if it will let me. I'm just not allowed to pin comments. The option is not here. That's very, very annoying. All right, well, I'm going to comment, but then let me see if I can pin it afterwards. Nope. Apparently, Facebook only gives the privileged few the ability to pin a comment, and I'm not one of them. I don't know. It didn't happen in for me. So um, the link that you will need tonight is in the um, description. The, um, I can't talk tonight, y'all. It's too late. This is past my bedtime. Can y'all tell? Hey, Shauna. Hey, Trisha. Hey, Vanessa. Hey, Shelly. How are y'all doing tonight? This is past my bedtime. Um, and I don't have my glasses. My regular glasses on, like my progressives, are in my car. I didn't go get them. So these are my reading glasses. So guess what? I can't see all the way across to my laptop with my readers on, but I need them to see what's in front of me. So now I'm going to like lean over and try to see what y'all are saying. Trisha, you just ordered a laser. That is so exciting. Okay, so I have a door hanger that I'm going to paint with y'all tonight, but I came on here because I wanted to tell you, um, because I'm getting ready to go out of town after I work tomorrow. Um, the next day we are going to go skiing. I'm not skiing. My family's skiing. I do not ski. Um, I will break my neck if I ski. But um, so we're going to be out of town, but I wanted to tell y'all, um, my clubhouse membership opens Monday. It's called SVG Clubhouse, and um, I know some of y'all are already on the waiting list. If you're not on the waiting list, click the link in the video description, which you can probably not see until after the video is done. But I did comment with it. I just can't pin the comment. Okay, so um, the SVG Clubhouse, if you don't already know, um, it is where for $10 a month is all it is. You get 50% off of my files all the time. You get four files a month that are totally like not for sale on my Etsy shop. I do not sell them anywhere else. They are exclusive to the group. You cannot get them unless you're in the group. Um, in addition, we have a paint party night that we do once a month where we get on together and we paint together live. And I also do some bonus stuff, some tutorials, some like guest crafters come in and do stuff. And next week when it opens on Monday, it's going to be open for one week. Um, thank you guys. Y'all are so sweet. Okay. It's going to be open for one week and then the doors will close and then it will not be open again for a while. I don't know exactly when, but not like for a while, um, probably a couple months. So every night that it's open next week, there are the possibility to get bonus files. If you join the first day, which is Monday, you get all the bonuses. Okay. There are six bonuses during the week. But each day that goes by, one of the bonuses drops off. Okay, so if you join Monday, you get all the bonuses. And they're all they're all files. They're all really cool files. I can't wait to share them with y'all. I'm going to be painting them live every day next week. 
Um, they're all files, except for there is also one bonus video that um, my good friend Kara is um, generously donating access to her video tutorial on Canva. So if you need help with setting up um, listing like photos, how to like do marketing photos for your products, um, how to make catchy photos for your website, for your Facebook business page, that kind of thing. Um, Kara is going to show you how to do that in Canva. Now, I don't use Canva. I use PicMonkey, very similar, same kind of thing, but I've just used PicMonkey for a very long time. But Canva is apparently where it's at. Like, I think Canva has a whole lot more options and a whole lot more stuff you could do. Um, so I kind of want to switch over, but then again, I don't want to have to learn something new and it's probably not like that difficult to learn. So Kara is going to be showing you how to do that. Um, okay. You're going to need a futon in your basement. You'll be spending all your time in the basement next to your forge. That is so funny. I'm so glad y'all are excited and you're joining. I cannot wait. I'm very excited. It has been quite the journey trying to get all this stuff to set up correctly. Um, just know that I am human and that I am not a techie person and that if next week, if you get on there and you try to sign up and for some reason the email like doesn't land in your inbox um, with the proper stuff in it, just shoot me a message. You know I'm here on my Facebook business page and I will make sure that you get the, the you're subscribed to the list to get like everything. I just, um, it's working right now. It's just, you know, it's not my area of expertise. So I've hired somebody to do that for me and hopefully it's going to flow well and work. So I'm kind of nervous, but hopefully it will um, do what it's supposed to do. So, okay, let's paint a door hanger. So, and I'm sorry, like there's like a glare on my forehead. It's horrible. I need, I need bangs to cover up this glare <laughs> from the chandelier. Um, the Canva bonus is a pre-recorded video. No, it's pre-recorded. Yep. It's not, um, it's not live. Okay. And y'all, anytime there is something live, you can always watch it again over and over, but the, no, the Canva is a pre-recorded video. Okay, so I have obviously here, I have a um, 18 inch shiplap round. Okay, if you cannot cut 18 inch rounds, um, this file is 11 inches in. Okay, first of all, this is one of the projects we're going to be painting in the club. Okay, so I can't give you a link to buy this file because you can't buy this file. This is one of the things, this is the door hanger for the month of March. So don't panic and think, oh, well, I can't cut an 18 inch round because I don't use a router and I don't have a pass through door and I don't cut my own rounds. OK, so the file, it is 11 inches in the file so that it fits on your Glowforge bed. Um, you're so sweet. Am I saying your name right, Andy? I don't know if I'm saying your name right. I'm so sorry. Um, Vanessa, thank you. This is Jacobine stain. I wanted the lighter stain. I wanted a. Um, what's it called? Old English, I think, but I can't find it. And I'm almost out of Jacobine because that's my go-to, my next go-to if I can't get the old English one, because this is a little bit darker. So basically I just like wiped most of it off and just did like, like as light of a stain as I possibly could. Um, but anyway, so the, in the file, it is, um, you know, 11 inches and you can enlarge it if you want to enlarge it, but I give you the file at 11 inches. Or if you want to, I do sell these in my Etsy shop. I sell ship labyrinths. So, um, okay. So yep, we're going to get started. So we don't need the round right now, obviously it's already, it's like still a little bit sticky. It's been sitting in the garage for like a couple hours. Hold on. Let me find a place to stick it. And so, um, we've got our letters. And we've got some other things. This actually shouldn't take too long to do. We've got an Easter basket and a bow and some grass and some eggs. Okay, so let me think. What are we going to paint first? Um, you were at Lowe's the other day and just learned they mix color in your stain. They mix color in your stain. Okay, Vanessa, what do you mean by that? That sounds really interesting. I don't know um, anything about that. Okay. Y'all know that I'm going to use my favorite color. I can't stand it. I've got to put this color in everything spring. So this is sea breeze. I was going to do blue, like a light blue, but I like the sea breeze. Um, they had a nice purple. Oh, do I have a plate for my paint? Hold on. And I'm going to need some sponge pouncer things. So let me get my little bag of sponges out. 
Yes, they have a bunch of colors. So like, what do you mean they mix paint in your stain? What do you, why would you, you put paint in the stain to like make the stain tinted? I don't understand. Tell me what you're talking about. <laughs> All right, um, lighter and darker. Hmm, okay. All right, I have an idea here. So y'all just bear with me. I wanna do, I wanna do this, but I wanna do it lighter. Okay, I'm gonna mix in, I guess I'm gonna use white chalk paint because I don't have any other white paint. You take the base, like a base flat or gloss, and then you tell them what color to mix in like paint. Oh, okay, cool. That sounds awesome. Well, take some pictures and show them to me and let me know. Um, let me know what you need. Okay, so that, is that enough paint? That's probably not enough paint. All right, so here's what I'm trying to do, y'all. I want to do like some polka dots and zigzags and stuff. So I want to paint this um, basket this color, but I want it to be a little bit lighter. And I want to do um, some polka dot or no, some zigzags in a little bit darker in the regular color. Oh, Michelle. Hey, girl, how are you? I know this is past my bedtime. You know, I don't go live. Bo Taylor went to bed already. And I was like, I didn't even think I was going to go live. I was like, all right, I need to do this. I've been like saying I'm going to go live today and I haven't gotten around to it. So, all right, that is not lightening up color really at all. That's not, I need something, hold on y'all. This is just my usual hot mess self. You love that color? I love this color too. All right, why am I dipping that back in the water? Y'all, if I fall asleep, you don't have to keep me awake. <laughs> this is crazy. All right. I want this color to be lighter, but it's really just not lightening up. Apparently I have to add a whole lot of, there we go. That's a little bit lighter, I guess. All right. I need that big brush. You are Wonder Woman. Girl, you are Wonder Woman. <laughs> she is... Michelle is crazy, y'all. She, if anybody's Wonder Woman, it's her. She does not sleep. I'm convinced that the woman does not sleep ever. She gets more done in a 24 hour period than anybody I've ever seen in my whole life. Oh, it's only 5 16 in Hawaii. Well, it is 10 16 here. And I mean, I don't go to bed at 10, but I generally do not do nighttime lives because it's just my wind down time and I'm just not feeling talky. You know what I mean? But I've just been, it's been so busy this week that I have not had time to go live. Oh, and I can't do foul feature Friday because I'm going to be in the mountains, probably with not good service. So there's no foul feature Friday. So just save up your energy for next week when clubhouse opens, because we're going to do lots of lives next week. I'll be live pretty much every day next week, showing you all the fun bonus projects. So every month, so you guys, the four files that you get in the membership every month, you get a, um, you get a shaker file. Does everybody know what a shaker file is? Comment and tell me if you don't know what a shaker file is, and I'll explain it to you. A shaker set. Okay, so that's the color that I want the basket to be. Now, I want the polka dots to be, I keep saying polka dots, zigzags. I'm gonna do polka dots on the eggs. I think I'm gonna do zigzags, like kinda, I don't know, something kinda zigzaggy. Um, maybe if I add a drop of black to this color, what do y'all think? Will that do it? Will that darken it up? Do I have regular black or do I need to get chalk paint out? I'm sure I'll maybe. I don't buy regular colors, black and white in that paint. I always use chalk paint. Okay, we need just a dot of black paint, I think. Can y'all tell I cannot see at all across the table to see your comment? I mean, I can see, but I have to really look. I feel like an old lady, like, what are y'all saying? So I can see, this is so sad. Why didn't I walk out to my car and get my good glasses? Because it's cold outside. I didn't want to walk outside. 
Okay, so one good thing is that, why am I having to click on a comment to see? Oh, here we go. All right, well, Vanessa says, Moon Wax would finish. Okay, I gotta read that later, girl. That's a big comment. I gotta see what you're talking about later. But that is, you've got me intrigued. All right, so I'm, I'm this a little bit darker. So normally, if you add a little bit, I like to, I prefer to squirt it, but I don't have it in a squirt bottle. I just have it in here. Maybe this is all I need. I'm going to try to darken this up with a little bit of black. It probably won't work because that's just the way today is going for me. Okay, so you get a shaker file. That is, that's horrible. This is horrible. Do y'all see this? It's horrible. It, no, it looks awful. Okay, that's not going to work. Maybe that trick does not work with chalk paint. So, oh, let's see. All right, I do have, let's use Laguna. Okay, I'm going to use, this is Deco Art. You know, I love my Deco Art paint, Laguna. We're going to do that for the zigzags. Oh, was it dried up? How would it dry up? I haven't even used it in forever. It's not dry. <clears throat> Yeah, it's like gray. I don't know why I did that. It's a real, real nasty looking color. <laughs> that did not turn out right. All right, so let's try this. I kind of wanted to blend in a little bit, so I don't know. Maybe it'll blend in because my brush is wet. It, this might be a complete fail. I'm just winging it, y'all. Y'all know that I'm better at making files and coming up with like the ideas than actually painting them. Y'all know that about me. I like to make things, but I don't ever feel very confident about my paint skills. So I don't know how this is gonna go. All right, we're gonna mix a little bit of that in. Laguna. I feel like this is too dark, I don't know. I'm like doubting myself. All right, that might be okay. This is just supposed to be subtle anyway. I guess that's all right. Keep in mind, we're going to add like some um, some accents at the end. Black and white accents, because y'all know I like my squiggles and dots. All right. And all right, I think that'll be OK, because it's the it's the overall effect. Like if you if you notice about door hangers, this is what I think. When you, um, what brush do I need? I just need to touch up a little area. The reason I do highlights is because it takes away from like little tiny imperfections that you see if you like zone in on one little piece of a, a door hanger. So, and that looks kind of great. Hold on. There we go. It's all right. Okay. I mean, I'm just going to move on. We're going to move on because, you know, we're going to let this dry. This will be okay. We'll do our accents later. I have like nowhere to set stuff. Can you tell? We're going to set that right there. We're going to get rid of the iPad. The iPad did nothing for us. Where can it go? On the floor. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Tell me, am I saying it right? Sign? Is that how you say your name? I, I'm so bad with names, y'all. I hope I'm not totally messing up your name. Okay. Let's do, let's do the grass. All right, the grass, we're gonna do green tree. I like green tree because it is like a really pretty spring green, like a really bright, pretty green. Oh, Sins, short for Cynthia. Okay, I could, that I can remember. Thank you for telling me that. I, you know what? I used to love the name Cynthia when I was little. I used to want my name to be Cindy. I loved the Brady Bunch and I loved the name Cindy. And I thought that she was just adorable with her little ringlet curls. And um, yeah, I wanted my name to be Cindy. <laughs> And I'm just doing one coat on this, y'all. This is why I love Deco Art Pink. 
And I'm not a deco art. Like I don't have a sponsorship. I probably should. I should probably like email deco art and be like, Hey, I'm constantly promoting your paint every day that I go live. Um, but yeah, it has the best coverage. Did I get paint on my shirt? I got paint on my shirt. Y'all, hold on. Not that this is a fancy shirt, but if you take a baby wipe to it right away, sometimes you can salvage your clothes. But not today, apparently. I'm a hot mess. I just messed up my shirt, my sweatshirt. It's all right. It'll be good. I should put an apron on when I paint. All right. So what's everybody doing tonight? Is anybody painting with me? Are you painting fun, pretty things? Michelle, are you still on here? What are you doing? Probably rearranging an entire room. Redecorating. I don't paint the sides, obviously. Too much work, too much headache. I think it looks cleaner with the laser cut edges if you don't paint the sides. Comment and tell me if anybody paints the sides or tell me if you hate painting the sides like I do. Because I tried for a while when I first got my laser and I finally was like, this is not happening for me because it was just... A lot of work and it didn't look good and it just made a mess and I know some people spray paint and they get their sides I'm kind of doing I talked up the fact that we didn't need two coats but this green I'm kind of doing a second coat because I feel like this kind of needs it mama says she doesn't paint the sides Jill doesn't paint the sides Oh, you do, Sin, you do card making videos? I love card making videos. I watch Stampin' Up! videos sometimes. So you probably know some of these Stampin' Up! people if, you, if you're if you a card maker. Robin Stamps, Robin Carden, and I used to do Stampin' Up! And um, Chicken Scratch, and Wendy, what's Wendy's last name? Wendy, oh gosh. Can't think of Wendy's last name. And then I watch uh, Christina Werner. She's not Stampin' Up. She does other brands. She's amazing. She's an amazing artist. I love her hand lettering skills. She blows me away. Okay, so we've got our grass painted. All right, now, I think I might take a tiny brush. What kind of brush do I want? Like a filbert. I'm looking for a filbert brush. I think this is a filbert brush. Okay. So we're going to do just like, I think we're going to do, where's my other green? That's Hauser green. I think this would look good. We're going to do a few little wispy things to make it look like really light grass. Um, yeah, my supplies in the back, Robin stamps. Yeah, pink stamper. I love pink stamper. Um, She's who I was under when I did Stampin' Up. I've watched her way, from way back in the, the day when she was, um, she did um, cricket videos. So back when I had my cricket expression, this, I'm just trying to give this some dimension, y'all with the grass. Did I say what color this was? All right, and then when we do our highlights later, I think that'll like really make it pop. This is green tree, I think I said that. Okay. Yep, Christina is the bomb diggity. She is amazing. Um, all right, we've got our grass. Now let's do our little bow. What color do you want our bow to be? Let me see. I'm looking for a good pink. Maybe bubblegum pink. Or should we do purple? Maybe we'll do purple. 
Let's do light. Let's do light purple and then we'll do some polka dots on the bow that makes it darker. You learn from my painting, oh girl. <laughs> I'm glad you learned from my painting because I feel like I'm just a hot mess when it comes to painting. I just do whatever. But thank you. That is a very sweet compliment because I don't feel like I'm very good at painting at all. I'd like to, I mean, I don't, I don't love to paint because I, I get like all stressed out about it, but I love it when it's done. Like I just love, like, it usually turns out better than I think it's going to. And I, I'll tell you what I usually am thinking the entire time I'm doing the project is that it looks awful. And then you get to the end and you add all those little dots and squiggles because you know I love my dots and squiggles and then it just pops and it just I don't know it usually looks so much better hope I'm not jinxing myself can y'all see that I'm like probably off camera so this is what color purple do we have here purple cow We've got our purple cow paint. Alrighty, there we go. And we are our worst critic. You're so right. <clears throat> okay, my big bag of sponge counters. I'm looking for a little bitty one. You can get a, a big bag of these, a big pack of these on Amazon. I think they're on my website. If you go to my website, um, which is the link in the description, will take you to my website. It's lulubeandesigns.com. Um, I have a supply list. And let me see if this is dark enough. I guess that's dark enough. I don't want it too dark. And the um, I think the sponge, sponge pouncers are on there. That's a little bit darker. All right, let's see if this will work. This is called Wild Orchid. All right, I'm just kind of getting some of the paint off of that. And then I'm just gonna, I'm going off the edges a little bit because, so it looks more natural. Y'all might not be able to see this on the camera, but I will show you, I'll hold it up when I'm done. Cause it's subtle, it might be too subtle, hold on. And I'm going in a triangle pattern. I could always go over it with a darker color if I need to. Because that looks more natural. If you go off the edges a little bit and you go in a triangle pattern, it looks more like a pattern, like it's supposed to. Okay. I've got like a little piece where it didn't cut. I don't know. Can y'all see? See the... You can get if I hold it up to the camera. That's what I want. I'm just going for like subtle. And I'm keeping my little triangle. Every time you make two dots, then you complete the triangle with the other dot, if that makes sense. Okay, so there's our little, there's our little bow. Y'all can see that kind of shimmer. All right, we'll let that dry. And then um, I need to put these, I'm gonna put these, I guess I'll drop them down in there. Um, yes, you're right, odd numbers and triangle patterns are pleasing to the eye. I was actually just telling my daughter that the other day. I told her we were doing something and I said, did you know that odd numbers are more pleasing to the eye? And oddly enough, do you know where I learned that? When I moved into this house years ago, and the builder was, they were putting in like the bushes out front and they said, we do them in sets of three or five because it's more pleasing to the eye because it's an odd number. And I was like, oh, and for some reason that stuck in my head, you know, weird things that stick in your head all these years later. I remember them telling me that. And I have seen that with art as well. Oh, wait, why am I sponge? I'm not doing this yet. Hold on, let me rinse that out. I've got enough of those. I'll just drop it in there. Um, your address is all odd numbers. 
Yeah, it's true. Odd numbers. Um, can I talk and paint at the same time? No, I cannot. I cannot talk and paint at the same time, which is ironic since that's what I'm trying to accomplish when I go live, right? <laughs> okay, I'm not going to sponge pounce the polka dots until I paint the eggs. Okay, that's what I'm doing here. So I'm going to paint them while they're still in the little frame just because I feel like that would be easier. And I'm not going to get too much paint because I don't want it seeping down into the sides. You could use a makeup sponge too. I think I have some makeup sponges in that bag. Probably should use one of those. You could use a paint pen. All right, there's our pink. So let's see, what color should we do? Pink, we want it bright and eastery. Maybe blue and yellow. Pink, blue, and yellow. This is Whispering Turquoise, although it doesn't look turquoise, it just looks blue, like a baby blue. You have to run and cook dinner. Oh, that's so fun. You're just cooking dinner right now. Okay, well, have fun. Thank you for watching. I'm going to get another paint. I mean, another plate because I've already like made a mess on this one. All right, so we'll do this this one in light blue. And you guys, if you don't mind, please share the video. Oops, I said share. You're not supposed to say share. You're supposed to say sprinkle. Please sprinkle the video. I really appreciate it. And then we'll do... bright yellow. I know Vanessa said it's 1040 here. Yeah, it's 1040 here too. She's in Hawaii, which sounds heavenly right now, doesn't it? It was nice out today here and it gave us just a little tease of spring and um, I got spring fever. I was like, oh, we had the back door open and my daughter and I were sitting on the porch and I actually painted out on the porch today on the screen porch. I painted one of the projects we're going to be doing um, in Clubhouse um, to get that staged. I'm going to need a second coat on these. I do believe. All right. So we'll do that before we do the polka dots. Let me show you what I did today. This is one of the projects that we're doing in Clubhouse. This is our spring sun, and it's got these little beads all around the edges. See those little beads? They are, um, it's backwards to me, sorry y'all. They are little half wood, um, this is navy on the back, not black. It's hard to tell in this light. Um, they are little, like the wooden beads, they're like half wooden beads. and. Um, they're so much fun to put around signs. But y'all will laugh at this because this is how my day has gone. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to paint all of those little half wood beads. And so I needed to paint, I knew I needed to paint the sign white, but then I needed to paint the wooden beads white and then put them on. And um, it was too, I knew it'd be too difficult because I've tried this before to paint all of it at the same time. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and um, do that separately. So I, I said, I'm just going to take these wooden beads and I'm going to put them on a piece of cardboard and take them out in the backyard and spray paint them. And I dug out some white spray chalk paint that I found in my garage that I forgot I had. And I was like, okay, this is perfect because I'm painting most of it with white chalk paint. So I go out there and I had my big piece of cardboard, my box, 
and I put all my little half wooden beads on there. I set them out on the grass because again, it was nice outside and sunny and warm, you know, warm for this time of year. And um, for the projects in the club, will you be giving the links to where to find the items? Yes, Vanessa, you will get a supply list. If, if it's anything that's not, um, you know, just obvious, like if it's not just the usual kind of supplies, like, you know, paint and stuff like that. I mean, I'll give you a color list because you get in Clubhouse, you get marketing photos, too. So people are always asking me, like, can I use your pictures for advertising? In the Clubhouse, you get marketing photos with each project. Not the bonuses. Now, not the ones we're doing next week for like bonuses because I don't have enough time to do all of that. But like the four projects we get every month, those will all have marketing photos that you can use. And you will have links if there are links for whatever project. So like for those wooden beads, I'm going to give you the link. Like this is where you buy them, that kind of thing. So yes. Um, okay. So I had, well, my, I don't need more paint. So I'm out in the backyard and I've got my little wooden beads on my cardboard and I spray painted them. I did a couple of coats, um, went back out and looked on the table on my patio, no cardboard, no wooden beads, just gone. And I'm like, did I bring it in already? And I forgot that I brought it in because that I would totally do that because I've had that much on my plate this week and I feel like I'm just such a scatterbrain. My coworkers will tell you I'm a scatterbrain just like all the time anyway, probably if any of them are watching, um, which I am. That is age. Okay. When I was 25, I was not like that. I don't think I was like that. I've gotten worse. <laughs> I'm a little scatterbrained. I will admit. So I go out there, no wooden beads, no cardboard. I'm like, what in the world? So I look, sure enough, the wind had taken it away and the wooden beads were all in the leaves that were still in the patio because we haven't cleaned up the leaves. Um, yeah, so that's my, um, this yellow, y'all. I should always do white, always do a coat of white under yellow. I should know my, I should learn my lesson. Okay, I'm gonna leave that for a minute because I'm gonna do another coat of yellow in a minute. So let's paint our letters. So yeah, so I'm out in the backyard. Luckily, the paint was totally dry and the leaves were totally dry. I don't know how that I lucked out. So they were fine. They didn't get all gross and nasty and muddy or anything. They were perfectly fine, but they were everywhere. So I'm like going around picking up little white half wooden beads out of my yard so I can put them on the sign to take a picture of it so that there will be a marketing photo. So I promise you they're fine. They, they're not nasty from being in the yard. <laughs> just I was like seriously right now this is I have too much to do this week to be picking up these things out of my backyard so the dog's out there and he's looking at me like what are you doing are you trying to play are you trying to throw me a toy all right so I'm gonna need another paper towel I need another dry paper towel I keep thinking, bring a roll of paper towels into your craft room. And I had one in here, but I don't know what happened to it. Maybe I used it all up. Okay. Just wanna make sure I'm not missing any of y'all's comments. So that was my afternoon. But I did make it to the nail salon to get my nails done. You can't tell they were done because they have paint all over them now. But when I finally made it to the nail salon, my um, the guy that always does my nails, his name is Jake. I love Jake. He is awesome. And he's like looking at my nails and he's like, what did you do? Like I because I had been painting all day and I'd broken one, like putting wood in my laser. And he's like, what in the world happened to your nails? And I'm like, I just just don't even ask. Just fix them. <laughs> it was bad. All right. Um, what color? This says Easter blessings. Whoops. Put it in camera. So we've got blue. This is our, this is our basket. Remember it's going on a dark board. Okay. So we've got our basket. We've got our purple bow and then we've got our eggs. You can see what color the eggs are going to be when I get the polka dots on them in the green grass. So my question to y'all is what color do we paint the letters? I was thinking of doing Easter one color and blessings another color, but I don't want to get too colors everywhere and it be like tacky and I don't know. What do y'all think? Tell me, 
comment and tell me what color we should do our letters. And maybe we could do, you know, I kind of think that we should do something white because um, Vanessa, sweetie, I love you, but I just have an aversion to orange. I don't know if you know that about me. <laughs> I don't like orange. But hey, you know what, though? There is. Okay, I'm not going to do black, Melissa, because it's a dark backboard. So I need white. I need. I, I'm gonna. I need to do something white, and then I need to do another color. So what other color should I do? Now, Vanessa. That being said, there is a color that I like that is in the orange family, and I used it before. It's called bright salmon, and it's like a pinky orange that I like. And then I like orange in the fall. Like I like you know fall stuff, but I just I don't know. I don't want to put orange in with the spring stuff unless it's the salmon salmon color um i don't know why i'm weird it's just my one you know how everybody has like that color that they just don't love that's my color <laughs> you just got this color today this is really pretty i love the salmon color um let's do all right let's do blessings in white so while y'all are telling me what other color to use let me get a white posca pen Or two or three or four because I don't know which ones are out of ink. Um, I had one that was working really well today. Lilac. Still no dragon fruit. Oh, you can't find dragon fruit, Vanessa. I'm so sorry. That stinks. Okay. So there is nothing more boring than painting white letters especially since you have to do two coats of white, but I'm gonna sit here and do it. What I should have done, I had a little bit of thought ahead of time, is cut this out of whiteboard. So if you're doing this and you wanna cut this blessings out of whiteboard, that will save you some time. And y'all know I love whiteboard. So Vanessa, where did you look? Have you been, do you have Michael's and Hobby Lobby near you for your dragon fruit paint? I'm just trying to paint this fast because it's white and it's boring, but it will look good against that brown. Um, you love whiteboard. Oh yeah, Vanessa, you're right. My, my pastel Posca pens. Um, I could do that. Let me see. Let me pull them out and see what colors. But I, I feel like I should paint the letters one color that exactly matches another color in the sign. Like, I feel like I should pull, I don't think I want to do the lilac because the Easter letters are going to be up next to the lilac bow. So I think those will be too close to each other. So I think we should pull one of the colors from the eggs. And I don't think we should do yellow because honestly, just because yellow is a pain in the butt and it takes so many coats to make yellow look good. So I think we should do pink or blue. So Y'all comment and tell me, should we do pink or blue for Easter? Because I feel like that just kind of, I think this needs to dry before I do a second coat. Yeah, this needs to dry. All right, let me let this um, dry for a moment. And we probably have enough. I can go ahead and take these out, I guess. Uh-oh, is that not cut all the way through? All right, so let me show y'all if I have one in here. This egg didn't cut all the way through. And I can see why, because it obviously had a little glue spot. Hold on, if I could work it back and forth and get it out. Normally I take an X-Acto knife, but they're in the garage. I don't think I have an X-Acto knife over here to pop this out. Tell me what y'all do if you can't get yours, your uh, pieces out. Shoot. I have an X-Acto knife over here and I can't find it. I might have to 
which I'll wait just a minute while I go grab it. If I can't get this out of here. You get, um, so I see pink, pink, blue. I see two pinks and a blue. All right, let me see if I have something that I can pop that out with. Hold on, let me grab just like a little knife or something out of my kitchen. Hang on. Well, I'm probably going to um, break my knife trying to do this because it's not a very thin, it's not a very thin knife. Does this happen to y'all? I'm sure it does. Normally my laser cuts everything really well, but you can tell that it hit a glue spot in this wood. So I just kind of jiggle my, my blade down in there. Here it goes, I can feel it pop out. A sander, yeah, sometimes I do take a sander. Okay, so we're good. All right, let me do a little bit more yellow on there. Oh, and I needed a paper towel too. What can we use? Do I have a paper towel? I have a baby wipe. That's not going to do. Hold on, y'all. We can't paint without a paper towel. Okay. Sorry, y'all. Yeah, avoid or glue in the wood. Yep. Okay, if anybody is just joining us, um, which I don't think they are. There's like 15 people watching, I think. Okay, but if you're watching in the replay, you can click on the link in the listing description, the listing description, the video description, and that will take you to sign up for, to be notified when Clubhouse opens on Monday. All right, so let's do white again. Let's do white, where's my pen? That's not, I'm not loving how that's coloring. Someone says green, cheap Harbor Freight rotary tool. Oh, really? Oh, I have to try that. All right, now I've got some paint flowing out of here. That's much better. You use the rotary tool to get your wood out if it gets stuck. I have not seen that. I would like to see that. Is it like a little tiny rotary tool? I'm picturing like a little sewing tool that's like the roller thing. Little, you know what I mean? I don't know what they call that thing. I don't even know what it's for. <laughs> I'm not a sewer. I mean, I do like very minimal sewing, straight line sewing, <laughs> non-pattern sewing. This white is either drying up or flowing out too fast. It's, it's either one or the other with this white. I don't know why, probably because I'm trying to paint fast.
to get this white done so I can move on to more fun colors. Okay, good enough. What does the sign say? I'm late. Danny, hey, this is this says Easter blessings. Okay, so I saw more pink than blue, I believe. So I think I'm gonna do the Easter in pink. And I love pink anyway. So you know what though? I just sorted that out, but I'm wondering if I should use my pink pasta pen. I don't know though. I don't think that pink is going to match. I think that's like too light of a pink. And then this is too dark. All right. We're just going to use, we're going to go ahead and just use our brush or maybe our makeup sponge. Let's do a makeup sponge. So I'm just dabbing this pink on. And again, this is Bubblegum Pink by Deco Art. I don't know why I'm using two different, <laughs> I have two different plates with pink on it. I don't know what I'm doing. Like I said, y'all, it's past my bedtime. I have two different puddles of pink paint. Puddles of pink paint. Yes, we're doing an Easter blessings sign, but you could put different wording on the sign if you want. You could do happy Easter. You could do happy spring. Hello, spring. Um, happy Easter for like a bunny. Uh, what else? Spring blessings. You could just do hello in big letters, welcome, lots of options. All right, so I've used that pink up. And I need the space that I have on this plate, oops. Yeah, happy Easter. <laughs> I thought that would be cute. See, normally right now, I'm in bed watching other people's videos. I am not live doing my own videos this time of night. My kitchen is still a mess, even though I didn't even cook. How does that happen? Y'all tell me. I did not cook tonight, yet my kitchen is mysteriously a mess that I need to go straighten up before I go to bed because I cannot wake up to a messy kitchen. How does that happen? It's just, there's always dishes. No matter what you do, there's always dishes. So I need to go clean my kitchen and I need to set the coffee pot. And I have to work tomorrow, but I don't have to go in until 11. If any of my coworkers are watching, I do know I'm working tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Last week, I did not know that I was working <laughs> on Wednesday. I thought I was working on Thursday. This is this is a, a nurse problem. If we have any nurses watching, you tell me if this has ever happened to you because this has happened to every single nurse, I can assure you, unless you're one of those nurses that works like a regular office schedule. Because we work shift work and we work different days every week, we get mixed up as to what days we're supposed to be there. And every once in a while, it happens to all of us. And that's last week was my week. And it had not happened to me in like 10 years. So I was due. And I was literally getting in the shower and I got the phone call. It's like, where are you? And I'm like, oh, oh my God. I was like, please tell me I'm not supposed to be there right now and that I'm working tomorrow. They're like, nope, you're working today. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I had to like rinse off really quick and throw something on and run up there and, you know, hot mess express. And it's just typical, like nurse life. 
Um, yes, you think you're done doing the dishes and then more appear. That is so true. That is the story of my life. So, yes, so that happened to me last week. And um, so, yes, yeah, so this week I triple checked the days that I was working. I have to fix my nail polish because, you know, I just got my nails painted. So I got to get all this paint off of them because it's driving me crazy. Y'all probably can't even see it. Okay. Now, so we have all of that painted. Let's do polka dots on our little eggs. Let's put that over here, this over here. And we got our little eggs. All right. So that means that we need to do, you clean your kitchen and it magically appears like there's a party the next morning. Yes. Oh, you have six kids? Oh, yeah. I would say that would happen if you have six kids, for sure. That's like my daughter. My daughter will have like six friends over. And I mean, they're they're pretty good about cleaning up after themselves. But still, the dishes just accumulate. Um, what are we going to do? Let's do a shade darker. I'm having trouble with my, with my shade darker on some of these colors because... I don't really have, okay, the pink I think I can do because I think this is a shade darker for pink. Right. Yep, that's a shade darker for pink. So we need more little tiny sponge pouncers. One, two. Three. Nope, that one's dried up. Trash. One, two. Maybe we have to fish one out of the water cup. Maybe. Yeah, we'll just have to rinse one out. I don't have any more like tiny teeny tiny ones so yeah um jake's gonna get mad uh-oh <sighs> okay little polka dotties subtle polka dots i'll hold it up so y'all can see because you probably can't see right now you're like you're not doing anything i'm doing polka dots, I promise. Okay, so there's, let's see, yeah, can y'all see that? You can see it up close. There's that one. And let me see if I can rinse that because I need one more of these little spongy things. Thank you, Vanessa. I think it's cute. It's going to be even cuter, hopefully, when I get my dots and squiggles in place. Okay, blue, blue. That's darker, isn't it? Laguna. That was whispering turquoise. This is Indian turquoise. Okay. I don't know though, that doesn't look a whole lot different. But again, we're going for subtle, we're going for pastel. No, you can't even see that. That's like the same color. We need something darker. Maybe Calypso blue, that looks really dark, but I haven't even opened that. I got a new color, I think. I don't have any other ones open. Nope, that's ocean blue. Ooh, I've never used this one. Calypso Blue. Where's my knife? Oh, hold on. I just jiggled and now I can't see your comments. There we go. Yep, that's perfect.
I'm just kind of pushing down and twisting like a half turn. Okay, so there's our little blue polka dots. All right, so now we need to do yellow polka dots. Um, what color is darker? So that was bright yellow. I don't know though, cadmium yellow, marigold. Maybe marigold will show up on there. Thank you guys, y'all are so sweet. Oh, I haven't opened this one either. Using all kinds of new colors tonight. Come on. I need like a little pull tab on these things. Did I shake this? I don't remember if I did. Okay, so I'm excited. I can't wait to get this all together. Yeah, I think that yellow will be dark enough to show up. Some polka dots. It's like a gold. If you're looking for like a sun color, I feel like that's a good one. Perfect. Okay, so there's our yellow. I don't know if you can see that one. It's kind of hard with this light. I'm trying to angle it. There's like a delay on the camera. It's hard to see that one, but I promise you the polka dots do show up on there. Okay. Now, are we done painting? We're just about done. We need to do some um, highlights on our bow and our eggs and our basket. All right, so I need a black paint pen. All right, so I'm using my fine tip black pasta. I think that's what I'm gonna use, we'll see. I don't know though, maybe, I'll, maybe I will use my medium tip. And just dots and squiggles. All the way around. And then we're gonna need some white on there too. Where's my fine tip white? I don't know if I want, I think I need a fine tip white. Um, Vanessa, it just depends. Um, I want that black to dry for a minute. These are kind of wet though. Here, let me, do the, let me do the basket. It really just depends. For the eggs, I'll probably do the fine tip. The bow was just sort of an in-between size. Um, let me think. So I think for this black, I think I'm just gonna do this. Across the top the bottom and then so I just do instead of dots and squiggles for that um, because it's a basket I just want to do something different I'm trying to think if I want to do
like that. I feel like it just needs something on the handles. Like that. Can y'all see that? Just did some little like highlights around there, but I'm gonna add some white too. Thank you so much. You're so sweet, Vanessa. Once you get black and white, you will see what I mean. It just really pops. So there, so now we've got our little bow and see how the little um, highlights just kind of make it pop. And then I'm gonna do the same on here. And I'm trying not to go exactly over the top of the black because I want to be able to see the black and the white. But there's our, um, sorry, trying to get it in camera. There's our basket. And then we'll do our eggs. And I'm going to use the fine tip black. And let me do the squiggles. Whoops, looks kind of wet still. And then maybe yes, you can use the files from the SVG club for commercial use. Absolutely. That's what they're for. You can sell everything in there. It's basically, um, you know, just a, a way to get some exclusive files that you're not able to buy anywhere else. Um, and you can use them commercially. You can do kits. You can do your own subscription boxes if you want to. Um, yep, whatever you'd like to do with them. I'm just continuing to do little accents. But be sure if you want all the bonuses next week that you sign up on Monday when the doors open because then you get all seven bonuses. And here, if you guys want me to tonight, I'll give you a sneak peek at the first bonus because it is my favorite. It is so cute. It does not do it justice to see it blank. You really need to see it all painted and I'll be painting it Monday, but it is just so fun. I'm so excited about it. Okay, so we've got all those and we're gonna put those together. Um, let me grab, hold on, let me grab that. Monday project and I'll give y'all a sneak peek.
Okay, so it's not finished. Obviously, it's blank right now. And I've got, hold on, I need to put the letters on here straight so y'all can see what I'm, what I've got going on here. And one part you can't see because the tape's over it. Okay, so what this is, let me put it in the camera. This is a letter to the Easter Bunny. So you know how you see like letters to Santa? This is a letter to the Easter Bunny. So, and then this says express, but it's got um, tape on it right now. So, so we've got the little Easter bunny and this is actually people, kids write letters to the Easter bunny. I did not know this. And this is the address that they write the, the letters to, to 4001 Painted Egg Lane in Easter Island, Chile. And apparently if um, the letters don't make it there, they go to other places. People know like if a letter is addressed at Easter bunny, they forward it to Easter Island, Chile, and it ends up there. And this little tiny post office in the middle of nowhere in Easter Island, Chile, post these letters to the Easter Bunny that kids write. So this doesn't do it justice, y'all. I cannot wait for y'all to see it painted because it's going to be really, really cute when it's painted. But you see, it's got the little bunny stamp, the little um, banner, and then the flower. Like, and this is engraved. So what you can do is you can put whatever, you know, I didn't put my address on here because I don't want to like put my address out on the internet, but um, you can put, you know, your address here or whoever, if you're giving this as a gift or if you're doing it for like a, um, a subscription box or whatever, um, then you could have like them, you know, you can engrave their name on that before you send it in their address so they could have it personalized because people love personalized stuff. So anyway, um, and it's cut at 11 by 19, um, which is the, you know, the Glowforge size, it'll fit on the Glowforge. So you can make it bigger, smaller, whatever you want to do, but it is um, size to fit on there. So um, yes, you can have him paint uh, Mommy Sun Craft Time. That is so cute. That's a cute idea. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I just thought of it. I was just like cruising Pinterest and I saw this letter to Santa and I was like, I wonder if anybody does a letter to the Easter Bunny and I didn't see anything like it out there. Like I have not seen anybody else with that project. And I was so excited because, you know, every time you think of something and you think you have an original idea, then you find out that you don't have an original idea. Somebody else already thought of it before you did. I thought of it. I was excited. <laughs> Thank you. Y'all, y'all are so sweet. I think it's going to be really, really cute. Okay. Especially with some bright spring colors. Um, we're going to get this all on the sign because I've got to go to bed. Let me show y'all how this all fits together. Okay. I need these letters like, out the way for a minute. Okay. So, um, let me just line everything up on here. So, this goes down here because we have to line it up with the edge and then this fits together let's do our little puzzle like that and then let me figure out which order these go in I hope I didn't paint the wrong side of one of these eggs that would be my luck I don't think I did hold on that goes like that why isn't that fitting I'm confused. I think it is. It just has a space there. There we go. Like that. So yeah, so we've got our eggs. And then um, I swear that fit closer to that in the picture. I'm losing my mind. It's late. Oh, y'all. I didn't paint the wrong side of them. I don't know what I did, but they, they fit together. I promise you they do. All right, so there we go, like so. And then our bow fits right there. I think my board was warped. I'm gonna have to put something to weigh that down. And then I'm just gonna have to take these out. I was gonna try to transfer them with them still in there, but that's not gonna happen. And then, okay, so y'all, you know how I'm always talking about the 3M tape? instead of using glue, using the 3M tape. I was gonna do that. I was finally like, okay, I'm gonna get my 3M tape out and I'm gonna start using it to make my life easier. 
I can't find it. I'm not ordering more. I'm going to find it. That stuff is not cheap. Um, wait, Easter. T-A-S-T-A-R. So that's the capital E. It's hard to do this when I'm not like directly over top. I might have to stand up so I can get it all straight. Easter blessings. I got to stand up so I can look at it. And then... Uh-oh, did I lose my eye? My dot. I think I lost my dot on top of my eye. Got to be around here somewhere. Let me scoot that over so y'all can see it. Um, I see every other little piece, but I don't see the dot on my eye. It must have gone in the trash. All right, well, I'm going to have to fish it out. Okay, so I'm going to glue all this down for the, let's see, pink, blue, yellow. Is that what I did wrong? Oh, yes, thank you. Oh, my goodness, I was going crazy. See? <laughs> thank you. Who said that? Vanessa, thank you. I was like, why is there a space between two of the eggs and not the other two eggs? I did not do that in the file. <laughs> that's not what that's supposed to look like. Okay, hold on. I got to stand up because I got to see how these are going to be on here. Okay. All right. So, y'all, what I actually am probably going to do is glue this down tomorrow because it is getting so late and I have to work in the morning and I'm going to use my stick fat fast glue so I can show y'all if you're not one of my usual peeps and you don't know my stick fast glue. This is what I use. It takes a very small amount, but be careful with it because it's like super glue. You will glue your skin together. So I'm just going to piece by piece, add all these on here. I'm going to go find the dot that goes on my eye and I'm going to attach everything down and then I'm going to make a bow. So I will show y'all um, how I make my bow. I might come back on here like when I get back in town and like show y'all how I do my bow because I usually do my bows basically the same way. But what I normally do is these holes at the top here, I thread wire through and I've got some wire that I can show y'all. I get it at Tractor Supply actually and it's nice thick wire and that's how I do my, my hangers and then I make a bow and just like put it on the top of the wire hanger. So yeah, but I'm not gonna like hold y'all up and like, you know, take the time to glue all this down. So I'm looking at this on camera and I will tell you that I, I love it. I absolutely love it. But I, I wish I could have found the, just a little bit lighter shade of stain. Um, what was it called? Old English, I think it was. Because this J Jacobine, am I saying that right? Jacobine is like just a little bit dark, but I mean, it's pretty. It looks really pretty. It's actually a lot brighter in person than it is on camera. So I think it's going to look pretty hanging on the front door. Um, so yeah, so it, I think it turned out pretty good though. I really like it. And thank you, Vanessa, for fixing my eggs. Oh my gosh, that was driving me nuts. All right, um, let me make sure I didn't miss any of y'all's questions. Um, if we join Monday, will we get this file? Yes, this is one of the files that any day that you join, you will get this file because this is the March door hanger. So I didn't finish telling y'all. So each, each month you get a shaker file. Okay, so my shakers that I make, you get, let me show you the shaker that you get. I can show you that too. I just did it today. So... The shaker for the month is the, wait, what am I doing? Let me show y'all this way. <laughs> I'm tired, y'all. This is the egg hunt, like little shaker. So that's the um, sign and then the carrot. And I love the carrot. It's so cute. I love it. 
So that, that's the shaker set that you get for uh, March. You get this door hanger. So every month you get a shaker, you get either a door hanger or a wall hanger. This, this month, this is the door hanger that you get. Um, you get a, um, oh God, I'm totally drawing a blank. What is wrong with me? Ah, <sighs> y'all, I'm tired. I can't think, I cannot think. What is it, what is it, what is it? Um, <laughs> y'all, this is driving me crazy. Where's my iPad? Hold on, hold on, hold on. If anybody already knows, chime in and tell me. Hold on, it's on my page. Let me close this. Photos, that'll show me. Photos, photos. Okay. Oh, duh. Okay, a tiered tray file. So the tiered tray file for the month is the ladybug one. Did y'all see that one on my page? So you get, all right, so you get the shaker set, either the door hanger or the wall hanger, a tiered tray set. Now, the tiered tray set is a one sheet wonder. If y'all don't know what a one sheet wonder is, a one sheet wonder is where you can cut the entire tiered tray set out of one 12 by 20 piece of wood. So I have fit everything in there nice and tight to make sure that it all cuts on one 12 by 20 sheet of wood. Now, here's the catch. For the ladybug tiered tray file for that you get for the month of March, one of the bonus items next week is a, an extra piece that goes with the ladybug set. So like that would coordinate with the ladybug set. So that's one of the bonuses next week. If you sign up Monday, you get all the bonuses. Each day you wait, one bonus goes away. So Monday, you get all the bonuses. So, and then the fourth project is, is a, like a, an extra thing that we, um, we just decide on just something, something different. I say, Hey, what are y'all thinking for next month? Is there something that you have in mind that you want to do? So we could do a banner. We could do a shelf sitter, um, that kind of thing. But now I've already got, um, all the projects for this month plan, but next month, you know, we can vote in the group and like take a poll and figure out like what everybody um, likes to do. So yeah, the one sheet wonders are awesome because people love to be able, everybody always asks me like, how many sheets of wood does it take to cut this file? And I'm like, okay, y'all, okay. My answer is that everybody has a different laser and not everybody has a Glowforge. So that depends on the size of your bed. Do you have a big laser? Do you have a small laser? Like what size laser do you have? What size wood do you have? Like. Do you, some people like to size their things down and make them smaller. I do generally fairly large pieces on my tiered tray files because I have big tiered trays and I like big, bold statement pieces. And I also do not like to fry up little pieces of wood by making my pieces teeny tiny because we all know small letters char up in the laser. So I like to make them a little bit on the larger side for that reason. Um, but that's just how I do it. Some people say, well, I'm going to reduce mine down by like 20%. I just like to make them smaller and that's fine. So, you know, y'all can do whatever you want to do. I can't believe I've been on here for like an hour and 20 minutes. Okay. So I'm going to get off of here. Um, but yeah, so if you're on my email list, you will get the email that shows you it is, you know, signups have opened, but they, they will open first thing Monday. So Thank y'all so much for tuning in. I hope this wasn't too much of a hot mess and um, hope you like this project and I will hopefully see you in Clubhouse and I will talk to y'all soon. Have a great week and see you later. Bye.